I've been feeling some knitting burnout since around Easter after I finished this top. It's adorable, isn't it? Uh, yeah. So one thing that sort of helped was Mother's Day. I know, totally random. But Mother's Day weekend came around and I realized, oh, hey, there was a top I wanted to make for our anniversary around the end of May. And I had two weeks to make it because I hadn't started it yet. Because, you know, Mother's Day is in the middle of May here in the States. And I started it that weekend. I finished it. Not on time, but I signed it. Here's the top. It's cute, right? Um, all patterns and information is down below. And then that one kind of pulled me out of my knitting burnout funk, but not really. Um... I have a pair of socks that I've been working on since April, and one is done. The other one, I'm still working on decreasing the toe. It's the toe. I have like 15 rounds to go, and I'm still not done with it. I've got a silk shawl that I've been working on since like March or April. Still not done yet. Um, I've got a sweater that I started when it was stupid cold in March. And I'm like halfway through one sleeve. Body is done. Halfway through a sleeve. Yeah, see? Knitting burnout. And then I got the wonderful idea a couple days ago to make a 4th of July sweater. So I went searching for patterns and I found a couple. So here are my three choices. All right, so we have two from Lion Brand and one from Premier Yarns. These are all free patterns available. I will be using stash yarn because stash yarn. Um, I'm gonna be using this red right up here. I've got a creamy antique white and I'm still deciding on which blue to use. If I use this one, I would probably have to go buy more this one, I have three cakes of this, which is enough. Um, I'm pretty sure I have enough white and enough red. Now, the only problem is I can't decide which pattern to use. Um, but I think sitting here talking about it, I think I have narrowed it down which one I want to use. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to use this one. Now, like I said, 4th of July, or have I said it yet? I don't know. 4th of July is in two weeks, or actually a little less than two weeks, and I haven't started it. Um, I had an embroidery commission, actually, that I had to get done first, and that's off to its home. Um, I've got another commission that is currently stalled until I hear back. Um, so I really have nothing going on. Well, I can't say that. I mean, I've got that sock to finish, um, that shawl, sweater. I've got projects, but freedom. All right, so let's, um, let's go make freedom ring. Okay, so today's Wednesday. The fourth is next Thursday. And I didn't work on this at all yesterday. Did I work on it on Monday? I may have worked on it a little bit on Monday. 
I'm not sure. I don't remember. <laughs> um, but this is as far as I am right here. Okay. Um, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm actually on the last stripe of the body on the back and then I start shaping. Um, so my goal today is to finish the back and at least start on the front piece. Um, yeah, aside from domestic duties that have to happen today, this is my goal. This is what I'm going to be working on because I have a week now to finish this. I, I believe I can do it. I think I can. I think I can. I know I can. I just, you know, need to do it. Um, yeah, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to stripe and watch some, uh, young folk knits and get going. Yeah. Let's get knitting. It is Tuesday, it's the second, and I am almost finished. Um, as a reminder, this sweater is done in pieces, so there's a front, a back, and two sleeves. I have the front and the back finished, and I, I made an entire sleeve in one day. As you know, I have no chill. Um, so I am working on the second sleeve, and I have a new goal of when to get this finished. Um, the evening of the third, which is tomorrow. <laughs> um, one of my students reminded me about the fireworks on the third, because it's the, there's a festival and the city is putting on fireworks afterwards and it's near my house. So we're just gonna, you know, walk out on the main road and view the fireworks. Um, and I want to have my sweater done for the fireworks. I believe I can do it. I made this sleeve yesterday. Okay, like the entire thing, start and finish. Um, so I am now working on the second sleeve, which is the blue sleeve, entirety of blue. Um, yeah, I started that this morning and then we spent seven hours at the water park and now I'm back to working on it after you know pretzels for dinner because obviously that's what you do after you spend the day at the water park um yeah so next time I see you um I should have a finished sweater yeah this is the water park I haven't showered it off yet I'm lazy. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna go finish that sleeve. Spoiler alert. I didn't get it done in time. I hope you can hear me over the fireworks. Um, one of my students reminded me about the God and Country Festival that is near my house and that they have a fireworks show at dusk. Um, and so she said I should get it done in time for that. Um, I did not do that. <laughs> I was still steaming the sweater up when we went to the fireworks last night. Um, so instead, I got it done for our insane neighborhood fireworks this evening and I'm 
watching some right now. It's not quite dusk time. We've still got like half an hour or so before it's really dark. Um, yeah, so I'm supposed to do, I promise those are fireworks, okay? So I was supposed to do a duplicate stitch for the stars and I decided that takes too long so I'm going to crochet them instead. So I crocheted stars and I sewed them on and I'm eventually going to do that for the sleeve. Um, I have not blocked this yet. I finished this about 10 minutes ago sewing on the last star and yeah this was a stash busting project. Um, I think all the yarn is acrylic and that's okay because it's summer and I honestly don't care. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm going to go get my kids and we're going to go watch the neighborhood fireworks and I'm going to be patriotic as I do it. So happy 4th of July. The dog is chasing bugs.